What's going on everybody? Keybeard in the lock shed today. And in this video I am saying congratulations to lock picking hippie hashtag hippie420. He is doing a giveaway for his 420 subscribers. Congratulations, man. Um, and he asked a very cool question for everybody. What is your oldest lock? And going through my collection. I'm not even sure if these are my oldest locks, but I'm pretty close, pretty certain that these are old. Um, so you piqued my interest, and any excuse to show off my little lock collection, you know, I gotta go for it. So, this is for hashtag Hippie420. So I'm showing off my little collection of Scandinavian locks. Um, oops. So, a little bit of history on them. The Swedish inventor, Christopher Polham, he was the one who made the Swede or the Scandinavian padlocks. He was, they were created in the 1800s. Um, they were made out of solid cast iron. Um, some of these are actually, aren't actually that old, but this one is, and that's the one I'm going to kind of show off. These ones are some seagull, seagulls, and this one's another type of Scandinavian, um, a JW... Climax, I think. It's kind of hard to see how that says anymore. But this guy here is probably the one that's the oldest in my Scandinavian collection. So this here is cast iron. Um, and one way to tell if you have a Scandinavian lock is the obvious shape and just the heft of it. Um, and Scandinavian locks, they were usually made with rotating discs inside. And you can see that gigantic keyway in there. And then you have your nice key right here. And so these were created with rotating discs that coincide with the key right here. So you just slide that in like that. <laughs> Even the key has like just extra space to, you know, do that. And you just turn it just like a regular key. This one, you can only, you only turn it a quarter of the way. And out comes the shackle, which is really nice. And so if we if we take the shackle out and close it, you might be able to yep, you can see see the lever or the locking shackle or the locking bars, which lock on both sides. Um so I'm guessing this is my oldest lock for you, lock picking hippie. Um, the patent on these are 1871 to 1950s, so it's somewhere in that age era. Not too bad, right? Um, there we go. So we got this guy, and I also, this guy has a different type of keyway, which is like, uh, I guess kind of like a warded keyway. This isn't the actual key to it, but this is what the key would look like. Um... And then I got some Seagull locks, which are quite, I'm guessing, newer because they're pin tumblers instead of rotating discs. And this guy here is actually an old Scandinavian, which is probably 1800s, early 1900s, because it is a rotating disc. I do not have a key for it, I don't think. I left it up there on the shelf. Let me do a quick little, yeah. I didn't leave it on the shelf. Um, so that's a nice one here. So these two right here, I'm definitely for sure these are the oldest that I have in my uh, Scandinavian collection. Um, but there it is, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed my oldest locks in my collection. Uh, again, congratulations, lock picking hippie. And congratulations to your 420 subscribers. All right, everybody. Happy picking. Um, please don't forget to lock and subscribe. Leave some comments. And we'll see you guys on the next video.